Hello, and welcome to the Focusing Way podcast, available on iTunes and Stitcher. I'm your host, David Battistella. Is focusing your little secret? Or do you carry any kind of little secret? You know, the good things, maybe the guilty pleasures, or maybe you keep the things that give you an edge secret so no one else can muscle in on whatever that thing is. Well, I have a small confession to make. Until recently, focusing was my little secret. And only through focusing did I come to understand why I wanted to keep the focusing part of my life, which was way more than just a part, somewhat secret. I sort of started out by asking myself a few key questions about focusing and how it related to the rest of my life. I realized that I was kind of keeping focusing to one side, using it for my own benefit but maybe not sharing my joy or my knowledge of it as fully as I could. So these were the questions that were coming up for me. How open are you about your focusing work when talking about it with other people? It's a question that came to me one morning while I was exercising and, of course, allowing my body to fall into the rhythm of focusing. So I sat with it a while and so much came up around it. First, something came up around the idea that I had been using focusing as a little secret. Then a few questions came. Was I a little embarrassed to talk about it? What were people going to think? That I was practicing some kind of self-help? Was my upbringing getting in the way and creating a kind of judgment I might think others perceive around anything to do with helping oneself live life fuller, feel better, and gain a deeper understanding. All of this was there. It was very present, but as I just sat with it, I was exercising. Just a note on exercise. If you can get past the whole idea of the physical struggles that come with exercise and perhaps focus on breathing or the movement or imagining your movement, then you can get into another layer one that is very contemplative, and it's quite amazing how rapidly and frequently the body will respond and present information. For those of you who've ever done any running and described it as a meditative or relaxing experience, what I'm trying to describe is a lot like that, but it becomes much more proactive as focusing is a very active listening and relating and proactive process. So then the question came. Something in me was presenting this question. Is focusing a secret I was keeping? Or perhaps it is something I was practicing, but I did not want to share. Then something in me helped me realize that I was sort of selfishly keeping the focusing space quiet and private because it was a fantastic and glorious internal space that is entirely my own. At times, being in the quiet focusing space is the only quiet time we get. Focusing time can be a refuge and also a great way to engage in inner dialogue about anything you want to bring to the process. It's one great place where we can slow down to a point of truly listening and understanding what's going on and to take the time one by one to listen and explore what is going on for us. We've all probably experienced at one time or another guilty pleasures. Don't we usually keep those things very private and intimate? We tend not to share those things, perhaps because we don't want anyone to take it away from us. Sometimes we do it through food secret relationships, spending or shopping, quiet drives in our car away from our family or friends. We all tend to long for and want to experience these intimate moments with ourselves as a way of getting lost 
or getting reacquainted or organizing our thoughts and actions. The reality for me is that through focusing, I can enter into that space at any moment with any context and any situation. Through practice, we can find ourselves living in a focusing way. Then, these words were shown to me. Spread the word. I've been focusing for almost eight years, and I have to say that while my focusing has been enormously beneficial, allowing me to make major changes in my life and to tap into the wisdom of how I want to live my life and my own sense of rightness, I have to say that I haven't shared it all that much with the exception of genuinely curious people. This podcast is a testament to how what starts as an action block turns into a very pleasurable activity after focusing and finding just the right thing, just the right way you want to do it for you. In the midst of all this active focusing, the body just began showing me what was right. What was right was to write about this and share it. And as I share these words, a whole world of good is coming over me, both internally and externally. What a simple and powerful process I've come to know. And I hope you can come to know. Known as focusing. You've been listening to the Focusing Way podcast, available on iTunes and Stitcher. I'm your host, David Battistella. Please take a moment to visit our website at thefocusingway.com.